this program, but now that you have it, what does that mean to you? Well, I'm extremely proud of our guys and their perseverance after losing two and, and to get a road win that capped the season. Um, was it 14th time in this program's history to win eight or more games? I, I think it's a testament to how far this program's come in a very short two and a half years. What did you see from Jason tonight? Probably another one of the best games. He's yeah, you know, he really played. I, I, I was like 10 for 10 the first half or something like that. And then, but you know, it was the run, run down on that sideline over there where I where he accelerated again, where I, where I saw him starting to feel comfortable, um, you know, uh, you know that he was kind of back. And then you can see the, the two long runs that he had and the speed. And again, that really kind of sealed this game. And uh, really happy for him, happy for our team to hold us through. But to see him bounce back this way is great. You talk a little about Kobe's crazy one-handed. Yeah, he, he told me that because I didn't even know I caught it. I guess you have to ask him that. But um, yeah, you, you know, I know he's been a little frustrated lately, the last few games, and you know, again, he he wants to make plays and, and do things. And again, he, he has such great ball skills. Um, you know, we've had good play from both corners all year long. How about right before the half, they get within 14 to 10. There's a little yeah. momentum swing there. And then a, a couple big plays, 17 seconds. Yeah. Grabbing. Well, the the squib kick, you know, you know, yeah. Jared Casey made a nice play, got us, you know, mid midfield. You know, it really changed what our, our possible approach was going to be for that. And Jace makes a nice throw to Long Child, and, and uh, you know, and then boom, we, we we hit Mason. So again, we we've been able to do that. I think that's like the third time this year that we we've answered a score really late in the half with, with some type of points and, and, and uh, you know credit Andy and the offensive staff for, for being aggressive and, and they get the ball coming out the second half that way uh, I think really kind of took a little bit of that. What did it mean to you to, to get some of those backup guys in for seven minutes well, at the yeah, end? Yeah well, I was just saying on the post game radio it's really great because uh, a lot of times especially on offense when you when you do it it's just never as clean as you'd like and you, you don't get as many plays as you hope, but they did a nice job in there. You get to see, you know, uh, Savion and Dylan McDuffie get some carries. Ben Easter's get a chance. Uh, Spencer Lovell had to play quite a bit after Michael Ford got hurt. But, you know, you, you get a chance to get Will Huggins and Tabita in and a lot of guys that put a lot of time in and been extremely patient. And uh, it, it's really kind of a great way to, to wrap it up before we start prepping for the bowl season. You mentioned Michael Ford. I think Bryce was also hurt. Is, yeah. How much are you looking forward to having a handful of weeks here? To look at <laughs> Very much so. We're, we're pretty banged up. I think a lot of people are at this time of year. You know, I started looking like before kickoff. I, I see more braces and straps and stuff like that than, than we, you know, ever have. So just trying to, and, and that's why I really admire about our guys. They they really continue to work hard, find a way to get out there and compete. But uh, yeah, we're we're gonna we're gonna need some time here to to, to try to get a little healthier before, before we go play the next game. Yeah, just in the second half, Devin, I know he had that touchdown. He didn't play too much. Was that a precaution thing? Or was that just rest? Uh, or? I I just think it was a rotational thing that happened. I didn't hear. You know, I flipped back and forth, but. You know, there's some things, again, I, I don't know how many plays we ran the second half. And, you know, like say 11 of them, I think they were, were by that second unit there at the end. So that puts us at 40 plays. And I think we had 20, I thought I looked at like 24, 25 at halftime. And so 16 plays all of a sudden doesn't seem like he's playing much. But I thought Devin played extremely well again, his patience and vision. Um, and... Uh, you know, I, I really think his overall speed is is as good as it's been this late in the season in his career. Does anything he does surprise you anymore? Is he no. having one of the most impressive seasons? Ever no, no. I, you know, he's but he's so level-headed and and uh, and his approach is so so consistent that uh, no, it's uh, it, it's really neat just to watch how he goes about it and how he you know it, you, you kind of expect it now, which we can't take for granted. How were you able to convince them to take another look at the two-point conversion? Because there was a long Well, break. I don't know. I, I probably, because I got the penalty, I guess. But I asked if it was reviewed, and they said it was, and it stands. And then when I was calling them over, then all of a sudden they somehow buzzed it again. So I guess I got a penalty but for being right. I just got to stay in my pen and my uh, in, in where they want me to stand. Do you have a plan for these upcoming weeks, or are you still ironing that out? No, well, I'm worried. I'll, you know, I'll... You know, between uh, you know, Travis Goff and Colin Sexton and our administration, when they start giving us an idea, um, you know what possible destination we, we, 
you know, Rob IML or general manager already has like four different um, schedules for me to look at, um, kind of wait to see which which one we're kind of uh, where we'll be slotted and uh, you know, kind of plan out our, our time. But we're gonna give them at least a week off the field minimum and uh, let them heal up, get some running and lifting in later in the week. But um, you know, it's, it's a long year on these guys and we ask a lot of them. So they, you know, to get a little bit of a break here, I'll also take care of the academic side of things here to finish up because that's wrapping up soon. And uh, I sure hope we can get a great destination because these guys deserve it. Anything else? Thanks, Thanks.